Jesus. Oh, and there he lands the right. say so many times when, when you talk about upper body and head movement defensively is, hey, don't worry about missing by this much. Just miss by a little bit. Yeah, that's being a real pro. If you make a miss by too much, by the time you come back to get the other end of it, he's not there. You're not going to catch him. You want to make a miss just enough. It's just as safe whether you make a miss by a mile or by an inch. But if you make a miss by an inch, you can come back and counter him. Miss the target with that hook. And now they're trading blows. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all. And he does with that four-punch combination. Keep moving around the ring. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Solid shot. The left hand came in. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after, but you better be careful because his... That's a big right hand. Did you see that? Oh, and he goes down after that punch. And it's been long overdue. He's been leaving an opening all night. credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the Watch reasons that. he got up. Yeah. You see him holding on. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. He just missed that shot up top. Some Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Able to land with the right. More than one, and it's just what he wants. Staying away from those head shots with his defense up top. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Combo lands upstairs. Just missed with that punch. Gives one. The right hand scores well. Took a shot. Now he gives the left. Had his target in mind, but just missed. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. Now that is fighting right there, and smart fighting, landing all four punches. Throw it 
off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Took a shot, now he gives the left. Scored well up top. Didn't get it done going to the body there. And take a look at those punch stat numbers. Very impressive work rates. Do you like a guy who just is flat out busier, Teddy? As long as he's not reckless while he's being busy. Yeah, as long as he's tight with his punches, and his punches are in the right location, not too far away. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He scored well after being hit himself. Nice combination there. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tool because it just follows one, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Fires right back at him. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. was something special. Really on target there with a three-punch combination. Nice work with the left hand. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. My kid, focus. Missed targeted. See, not just one jab. He throws that second one right behind him. You need to keep that head to the head he goes with a left hand. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Teddy, we look at your scorecard here at the beginning of round four. He's up three to zip, but it may be a moot point. He's put his man down on the canvas in complete control of this fight. Yeah, he's hurt him several times. He's shown power. And his opponent has shown no ability to change things. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. He got rocked. He just got rocked. And he's still taking punches. The only way... Oh, and there you go. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Zoning in with the overhand left. A little head hunting with the right. A headshot block. Lands a big hook. Very accurate work. Three punch count. What a great round this has turned in. And bang, and away he goes. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time?